everyone. I'm here to share my experience concerning my short-term scientific mission, which was funded by the Public Interest Action. So initially, I decided to do this STSM to broaden my scientific network by working in a lab of researchers from another university whose expertise differed significantly from mine, but was still complementary. In this way, this mission not only allowed me to gain knowledge on purple photosynthetic bacteria, or PPB, but also gave me the opportunity to learn new techniques that could be brought back to my laboratory and at the same time, useful for my PhD thesis project. My aim during this STSM was to learn more about molecular biology techniques for gene insertion or deletion, areas where my expertise was quite limited. While searching for a hosting laboratory, I discovered that the Bioprocess Engineering Group at Wageningen University had developed a plasmid that allows gene insertion or deletion in PPB strains using a combination of homologous recombination and a genetic engineering tool CRISPR-Cas9. I reached out to them right away and fortunately I got a chance to conduct my STSM in the laboratory. During my one-month uh, STSM at Wageningen University, I was trained to the utilization in purple bacteria of genetic engineering techniques while focusing on creating a fluorescent reporter system that could be very useful in the context of my thesis. There, there I learned the essentials of molecular biology for, from PCR primer design to plasmid construction, sequencing and gene insertion through homologous recombination. This laid a solid foundation for my future uh, genetic constructions. Additionally, I gained expertise in using CRISPR-Cas9 as a counter selection system of anodized cells, and I built a plasmid that will be highly valorized in the context of my thesis project, which exceeds my initial expectations. In this way, this STSM provided me an opportunity to exchange with scientists who had more applied approach to the use of purple bacteria than mine, which was an enriching experience. And it also paved the way for a promising collaboration between our two groups. For all of this reason, I'm truly convinced that without this STSM, I would have considered or had the chance for such collaboration, and I'm truly grateful for that. But one of my few regrets in the organization of this first uh, STSM call is the brief period of time between the official announcement of call openings and the application deadline, which was about two weeks. While this timeline might work for observation missions or those with minimal uh, workflow planification and uh, equipment preparation, when it comes to more meticulous and complex tasks like genetically modified microorganisms, the implementation of the STSM demands considerably more time. Fortunately, this didn't uh, hinder the mission thanks to the well-established expertise of my health laboratory in the target field. Another point in mind to mention is the allocation of budgets. We were asked in the application procedure to, produce, to provide an estimation of the potential expenses linked to the mission, including accommodation, travel and daily allowances. However, only 60% of the initially estimated budget was granted, requiring my application for an additional scholarship at my university to cover my daily expenses. Of course, this should be considered individually, but in some countries, the high cost of living could pose a barrier for certain individuals without access to extra funds. But all in all, this STSM was a very enriching experience and I would do it again without any hesitation.